I am Lizzie. Odd. I am going for my OAT speaking next month. I am really worried about the test. Can somebody help me? Hi Lizzie, I am Miss Green. I am an OAT trainer. I can help you by arranging a detailed demonstration of the same. Come with me. And listen the video carefully till the end. Hi dear friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Milestones of Our Life. In today's video I will give you an idea about the warm-up session of OET speaking. Before going to the presentation, I will give you some more details about OET speaking. The speaking test is approximately for 20 minutes, among which around 3 to 4 minutes is for introduction and warm-up session. This time will help you to get used to the interlocutor's accent. During this time you can create a very good rapport with the interlocutor and it will help you to get rid of the nervousness of your mind. Even though this part is not evaluated to decide your score, you should demonstrate your confidence from the very beginning. Remember, the first impression is the best impression. Dear friends, when you enter the test room, the interlocutor will greet you. Remember to greet him or her back. Please smile at the examiner and this helps to reduce stress and to improve confidence. Please be audible when you speak. The interlocutor will check your ID and your name and then ask you a number of straightforward questions. Usually around 16 to 20 questions. If you are watching our video for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. And click on the bell icon to enable the notification. Thanks a lot for all your support and encouragement. Please share our videos to your friends. Please watch all other OAT videos along with this. Now, we can straightway go to the presentation. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, of course. My name is Beryl Smith. I come from Calicut. Basically, I am a nurse with 15 years of experience in operation theater. Why did you choose nursing? To be honest, nursing is a noble profession which is service-oriented. In addition to that, its wide global opportunities tempted me to choose this profession as my career. Which is your dream country? Well, my dream country is the UK, as my sister who is residing there explained me the various advantages of working there as a nurse including better remuneration and living condition. Tell me about your hometown. My hometown is Pavur. It is a village. It's famous for cultural heritage. My hometown is blessed with beautiful landscapes. Even though it is a small village, we have all facilities there. Why did you choose OIT? Proficiency in English language is mandatory to work in English-speaking countries. As OIT deals with real-life scenarios, I feel more confidence to appear for OIT than ILTS. In my opinion, OIT preparation will help the nurses to familiarize with the situations in foreign countries. Can you please tell me some recent trends in your profession? Yes, of course. There are lots of advancements in the field of nursing. One of them is the introduction of electronic recording which replaced the traditional paper recording. Evidence-based practice and advanced technologies including robotic nursing are also another recent trends. Do you have a role model in your profession? Of course I have. My ward sister is my role model. I am really inspired by her dedication to nursing profession and mirth in that she is a person with down-to-earth personality. She is always approachable and is a good leader. What are the qualities of a good nurse? Well, 
in my opinion care, compassion, commitment, courage, communication and competence are the best qualities needed for every nurses. These qualities will help nurses to provide excellent nursing care to their patients. What all advice you can give to the upcoming nurses? My advice to the upcoming nurses is to love their profession and care their patients as their own family members. Always keep updated to provide high quality care for the patients. Have you encountered any difficult situation while taking care of any patients? Yes. If I am right, in the year 2013, there was a minor earthquake in Cheney. And on that day, I was in my morning shift working in pediatric ward. Once we felt the earthquake, we held the little ones in our hand running along with their IV fluids and incubators to a safe place. I couldn't forget that day even now. Tell me about a quality you possess. I believe it's my patience that gives me success both in my personal and professional life. Explain about a recent course which you have attended. I underwent immediate life support course conducted by British Heart Foundation as part of my clinical education. Tell me about your drawback. I had some problem with time management. Hence I attended a time management program that was conducted in my hospital which helped me to overcome that problem. Can you explain routine day in your life as a nurse? Of course. Our typical day starts with handover. Soon after that we will go to each patient's and will introduce ourselves. Later on we will assist them with breakfast and medications. We will attend the doctor's rounds and will carry out the orders. By the end of the shift, all the patients will be handed over to the next team. Is there any gender difference in your profession? Even though there is no obvious gender difference in the field of nursing, we observe that in some countries they accept more female staff than male. Hope you all got an idea about the warm-up session of OET speaking test. Thank you, Miss Green. In real situation, the session won't be this much long. I have explained all the questions for your better understanding. Did you enjoy my lesson? If yes, please subscribe to Milestones of Our Life YouTube channel. Definitely, we will subscribe to Milestones of Our Life. Thank you. I will come back to you soon with more useful videos. So once again thanks a lot for all your support. Friends don't forget to subscribe. One more thing. Whenever you have free time, watch all the videos in Milestones of Our Life. It will definitely help you. See you soon in the next video. Bye for now.